Well, it is telling the truth. Stores do matter. Not in this mall. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Northfield Square Mall in Bradley, Illinois. This is my third visit to the Northfield Square Mall and each time it has gotten worse. The first time I was there was back in 2018 and it is one of my first 10 videos that I've ever done and that was when Carson's was closing. And then the next time I went down there was two years later in 2020, right after everything reopened from the pandemic. And since 2018, more stores have closed and JCPenney's was in liquidation in 2020. Just to clarify, it was just the Northfield store that was closing. That was the one that was liquidating. Not the entire company. Yet, anyway. <laughs> and now, almost three years later, I figured it was time to do an update video on this mall. And I'm just going to tell you the truth. It is not getting any better. More stores have closed since 2020. Um, if you want to go back and check out the progress of the mall, go back and watch the last two videos that I have done. But since 2020, like I said earlier, JCPenney's is closed. Roger and Holland Jewelry Store. Bath and Body Works moved up to uh, another plaza to the north of the mall. Christopher and Banks, they all went bankrupt. Justice, they went bankrupt. Express, they closed. Fannie Mae Candies, they closed. Maurice's moved to another plaza up north. And uh, looks like Master Cuts also closed as well. So it's not getting any better. However, walking through the mall, there are a lot of smaller businesses that occupy the mall. Um, it looks, it's looking to be more of a community type mall. Um, in the food court, there is one tenant that sells smoothies. And I would also like to mention that this mall is another Namdar disaster. Namdar owns this mall, so that's why all these stores have been moving out and the mall isn't doing well. That's one factor. Also, this mall serves the Kankakee, Bradley, Bourbon, A metro area. And I hate to tell you the truth, I drove through Kankakee, the core city, and it is not the best city that I've driven through. So <laughs> we'll just say that much. So that may be a factor as well, economy. And I guess to a lesser extent, there is competition. Um, but the nearest decent mall is in Orland Park and that's about an hour away and then to the south you have Champaign the marketplace mall and that's about an hour away as well so I guess maybe the area can sustain a regional mall um, a lot of people would say online shopping is to blame, but that's not 100% of the blame. Just like I said, it's management of the mall, and Namdar is a slumlord. I've done a couple of Namdar malls, and <laughs> they pretty much look like this. Uh, Northland Mall in Sterling, that made a comeback because Namdar got rid of it, and somebody else owns it now, and that mall is thriving again. So anyway, I babbled on for the last four minutes and some change. <laughs> so I just want you to enjoy a third visit, 2023 Northfield Square Mall. My third visit to this mall. And I don't know what the future holds for this mall. I've been reading that it may not be a mall anymore. It may get torn down or whatever. I don't know, whatever. Namdar wants to do to it and just probably wants to let it rot, you know? <laughs> there are only a handful of national chains left in the ball. Surprisingly, Auntie Anne's is still open. I'm 
Not sure how they stay open, but they are. So anyway, enjoy a tour of this mall. And if you are not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, please, for a lot more content to come. Make sure that you like, comment, and share this video, please. Also, note the similarities of this mall to the Illinois Star Center Mall down in Marion. And if you want to hear the history of this mall, go back to my other videos. God bless you guys. Continue shopping at your local businesses and continue shopping at your local mall. Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Thank you.